<coughs> Good morning. Good morning. It is Friday. Happy Friday. <coughs> I am not going to come across with my normal dulcet tones today. I hope you'll forgive me. And you may hear a dog barking. Uh, you may hear a cough drop clacking around and and or making me lisp a little like Earl. If that is the case, please forgive me. But it's a beautiful Friday morning. I went out to F last night because soup sounded delicious and my wife loves F. It looks like pho, but it's F. Anyway, it was actually really good. I, uh, I put lots of the Chinese hot oil with all the seeds in it in there. Added a little sriracha, a lot of sriracha. Love me some sriracha. Sriracha is good on everything. Sriracha on pizza. Delicious. Sriracha goes pretty much on anything. Well, anything that's not supposed to be sweet. Anything that's supposed to be savory, you can add sriracha to. Mix sriracha into your ketchup. Put it on fries. Oh, delicious. Anyway. That was fun. And then I went to sleep. It was a good night. Um... So I haven't had a whole lot of chance to watch these, but I did get an opportunity on my little morning walk here. Uh, PNP News had a new video. I, I don't actually watch PNP News' videos, but I am subscribed to him. He'll put up a, a video and I'll just go directly. Th thank thankfully, he links to the actual content producer's channel, unlike some other fat parasites. And uh, so I went directly to the... Uh, person's channel but the, the title intrigued me from PMP News uh it was a news now South Carolina owned a sheriff he owned him and you know anytime a YouTube video says there's ownage going on that uh there's actually ownage and it's not just uh clickbait scam crap so I go to I go to see this ownage first thing it starts off with a with a uh the video starts off he's uh videoing this half police car half taxi thing they call they call it a pole taxi or something like that i don't know it was on twitter a while ago i looked it up it's part of an event kind of thing they don't use it as a police car they don't use it as a taxi they use it to raise awareness of of the expenses between the two of them it's like uh, choose your ride or something like that it's some campaign <clears throat> but bought these vehicles or paid to have these vehicles wrapped up in their vehicle wraps to make them look like half taxi and half police car but yeah they're not they're not used in law enforcement capa capacity they're not used as a taxi they're they're just for demonstrative purposes they take them to events like teaching kids you know or teaching people to not drink and drive or taking them to places where people are going to be partying just park them out there so <coughs> when people go into the venue they uh they have a visual reminder of the costs of drunk driving so yeah they're not i hate to break this to you guys but it's not like some stealth campaign if you want to get mad at something if your state requires uh traffic units units that are supposed to be pulling over for traffic stops if if your state requires them to be clearly identified as police vehicles and they're using the ghost lettering that's some bull crap right there that stuff is like next to impossible to see it unless you're unless you shine your lights on it in a specific way or something like that it's those are bull crap if you're supposed to have warning that it is a police car pulling you over then you should be able to clearly see the uh the police markings on it that's just my two cents so he, uh, he goes around in this parking lot. News, it's News Now, South Carolina. He's going around in this parking lot. It's a sheriff, sheriff station slash court. And uh, he's filming into the sheriff's vehicles. As if that's not going to get him attention. So obviously he's doing it to get attention. He's not just standing in a public place filming in public. He is going out of his way 
to look as suspicious as possible. Because how would you react if you walked out of the mall and you saw some dude looking into your car window? Like, making it obvious he was looking into your car window. Instantly, you would assume that he's going to break into your car or he's going to try to steal something out of your car or, or whatever. He's looking, for, he's looking for a car to steal from or to steal. And that's exactly what the sheriff in the video thought. He's, he's looking to steal patrol cars or steal something out of them. And from my understanding, a lot of times in patrol cars, they may have like a shotgun in them or I've seen shotguns in them. Um, I don't know if they still keep shotguns in them, but there may be, there may be, you know, firearms locked up in the trunk, like a long rifle or something like that. You don't know. I don't know. But they certainly, sorry about the snorting. They certainly don't want people stealing these things. Um, it doesn't look good to have your sheriff's car stolen. So obviously they're going to go and talk to him. Obviously that is without question as soon as somebody notices him looking into police vehicles videoing into police vehicles and it doesn't matter that he's videoing it just makes it that much more obvious that he's looking into the police vehicles so as soon as somebody notices it and report them they they're going to go check do they have reasonable suspicion at that point for detention absolutely they have their instincts their cop hunches combined with the reasonable or combined with the art Articulable objective fact that he is got a stick, buddy. He's got a stick. The reasonable, I'm sorry, they have the reasonable suspicion combined with the articulable fact that he is looking into cop windows, into cop car windows. And they and the and the officer, the sheriff, even ends up articulating some of the various things. Now the the officer goes too far, I think. Suspecting the guy of terrorist activities. I think that's a little weird, but you know, hey, terrorism happens. There was just the, uh, oh, don't throw up, dude. Uh, there was just the, uh, there was a sheriff's, not sheriff, there was a Republican uh, party headquarters that was vandalized by gunfire. Uh, there were the, uh, there was a shooting at the, uh, Jewish temple, the synagogue. I mean, terrorist, terrorism happens in the U.S. <coughs> Excuse me. Terrorism happens in the U.S., kids. Um, terrorism is a thing. So let's not... Oh, and just, just so we don't have like one side claiming victory over the other, there was also the, uh, the Bernie bro who shot up the... Uh, Who's that, who's that guy from the House of Representatives? He shot up some Republicans who were playing softball. And he ended up shooting one of the Republicans in the hip, I think. So yeah, terrorism happens on both sides. On all sides. Etc. Etc. So, so terrorism is a legitimate concern. I think it's kind of a stretch to go from someone looking into a car window to terrorism. But... They definitely had reasonable suspicion and an articulable objective fact to detain him. Now, they wanted his ID, but they didn't push it, and they just and they danced around it. And he wouldn't give him his ID. He kept relying on on his doing something that's perfectly legal. Well, you know, Terry looking into storefront windows, that's perfectly legal. Wardlow standing at the corner of a building, that's perfectly legal. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if what you're doing is illegal. Come on. Come on. Uh, it doesn't matter if what you're doing is perfectly legal. It matters what if what you're doing can give the officer a reasonable suspicion that you're up to criminal activity. So... He finally asks the officer if he's being detained, the sheriff. And the sheriff, who's talked to him for, at that point, he talked to him for like three minutes, four minutes, said, no, you're not being detained, you're free to go. Oh, and that was the owner. Wow! But then, uh, News Now South Carolina's video continued. And in his video, he ends up going around the parking lot for a few more minutes, and he's being followed by a sheriff in a, in a sheriff's vehicle. 
Oh, and that upset him. Oh, he had to go up to the guy and start talking to him, tell the tell the sheriff's deputy that you know he looks like a fool and he's going to be a YouTube star. All the while, completely ignorant or blind or oblivious to the fact that it's him who looks like an idiot. Because any normal person is going to see a video of him peering into car windows and say, yeah, the police are absolutely dead on right to check this guy out. And as a society, we want our police to follow people around who are doing crazy, random, suspicious things like that. Because just like, just like this guy was in a public place, that officer's in a public place where he has every right to be, where he has an obligation to be because he sees someone who may be about to commit a crime. So I didn't see any ownage there. I'm sorry, I didn't see any ownage there. Had the officers insisted, had they demanded ID, but they didn't. They asked for ID. And they and they were very careful in how they phrase it. They have every right to ask for ID. They have every right to investigate. And they do. They have every they're obligated to try to figure out who he is and what he's about yeah yeah and he's not obligated to provide him with his id so anyway thank you for watching have a great day